Howdy folks. Thanks for tuning in. Hope y'all doing okay today. Um, had a very interesting night on the assembly line, and that's uh, all I'm going to say about that. But some of the decisions that get made at upper management level do occasionally baffle me. Anyway, tonight, something that just was randomly on my mind. I seen a advertisement on a social media platform, YouTube, Facebook, whatnot. It was uh, called Cardi Tries. And essentially, based on what I could tell of the show, it... Cardi B, <clears throat> and she tries to do things that are outside her wheelhouse. Um, cook, surf, uh, one of them was like stunt car driver or something like that. And, uh, you know, it, that ad kicked my brain down an odd path. And where I ended up going with it was actually to a Netflix series that was panned by Netflix's customer base <clears throat> that ended up costing them a lot of money in subscriptions. I know my family and I canceled our subscription. And the series is cuties, in case you didn't put two and two together. But here's kind of where I got thinking on that. I I have not watched the cutie series. I do not plan to watch the cutie series. I have not watched the trailer. I have, however, heard a synopsis of the plot. And <clears throat> what I've heard, I haven't watched it, so if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I apologize. But I've never watched it, and I don't plan to. But what I heard it was about is these young, young girls that had gotten into watching twerking videos and things of that nature and started emulating what they were seeing because they had seen these people. I don't know if it was just, you know, YouTube personalities or if it was actual uh, stars or however they had come across this, but they had come across it and were emulating what they were seeing. Now, I've already spoke about, I think that people, that parents need to be nosy. You know, <clears throat> my wife and I, I've done a show on that. My wife and I caught our eldest daughter at the age of 13 having semi inappropriate discussions with a friend at school. And we talked to her and made her realize, and it, not made her realize, but explain to her from a Christian perspective, which is our spiritual beliefs, look, here's the standard of behavior that you're called to. You are not adhering to that standard of behavior. We don't care if you're friends with this boy, but there's certain behavior that will not be tolerated. And we took her phone away. We've been kind of monitoring her a little more closely because of that. And she's realized that there were aspects of their friendship that were not healthy. She would reply to a text and he would blow her up with like 30 text messages and things like that uh, while she was busy doing stuff. And she is not constantly nose buried in her cell phone. I'm probably on my phone more than she is, much to my chagrin. But <clears throat> Anyway, that situation has kind of settled down, I guess would be the phrase to use. But, like I said, that ad got me thinking in, about the Cutie series and what role models parents will let their kids emulate. You know, rewind a handful of years. 
Miley Cyrus was doing all the Hannah Montana stuff. It wasn't my cup of tea from a music perspective. I didn't... I found a handful of tunes catchy. I found a handful of tunes good. But by and large, we'll just say I wasn't a fan. But I didn't have a problem with her. However, once she... that massive change in her musical direction, which, you know, I don't have a successful music career. I play in a band, and we practice in a living room, and we've had one show to date due to COVID, but, you know, we're trying to book more, but I don't have a successful music career. I'm a, a, comp, I'm a decent musician, but I'm not successful by any stretch of the imagination. But anyway, um... It, you know, I'm not one to critique someone's career choices so long as they can take care of the lifestyle that they've chosen to lead, but I found it, when she, the initial show that she did back in 2012-13 where she came out as the new Miley Cyrus, I guess would be the way to put it. The only way I can describe the way that I felt is that she betrayed the trust of the people that held her up as a role model and the parents that allowed her to be a role model to their young their younger kids and allowed them to really obsess over her. You know, I can just imagine a scenario where, you know, parents have been, oh, we'll go to a Hannah Montana concert. Sure, you know, you like her. We don't mind doing that. Or, you know, we, we can watch her live concerts or, you know, get the recordings or whatever. I never was much of a concert goer. But anyway, you know, I can just imagine a parent, sure, let's go to the show. And, you know, she came out with this different album, and she was no longer the country pop princess that she was, she was something different, and again, for the millionth time, that's fine, but, you know, the role, she was no, she wasn't the same role model as what she was before, and that's fine, people do evolve into what they're becoming, but... I felt as though she did betray the trust of those that had her as a role model and the parents that allowed her to be a role model to their kids. You know, if you apply yourself, you can have a good music career too. Which is, you know, no lie. And then all of a sudden she's, you know, twerking and rubbing a microphone on herself and other things. And in fairness, Christina Aguilera went through a very similar phase, but in my opinion even more extreme for the time frame that we lived in in the early 2000s. So, you know, she wasn't the first person to do it, but I think that parents just need to, you know, thinking about that cutie series and how these young, young girls were just emulating what they were seeing, I think that parents just need to be so much more careful about the people that they allow their kids to... Sorry, I was driving so close in front of you, buddy. I think the parents just need to be so careful about the people that they allow their kids to emulate, imitate, and uh, be serious fans of. You know, I enjoy music a lot. I have very wide tastes in music. Uh, rap, country, rock, uh, Jazz, blues, I listen to a lot of it. I can play a lot of it on various instruments. So, but I 
I never really cared a huge amount about the stars themselves. Like, give you a case in point, Brad Paisley, man, he can play that guitar. I enjoy this song. That was kind of the end of it. I never got wrapped up in the, you know, who he's married to, who he was dating, any of that, that, and the other, you know, the, the tabloid gossip or, or, you know, entertainment tonight or whatever. I never cared. You know, someone can appreciate the fact that I build trucks, but, oh, I wonder what him and his wife's marriage is like. You know, it, it's, in my opinion, it's the same level of weirdness. And the thing is, like, the people that buy vehicles are affected by everyone that's on that factory floor. So, the, it kind of works the same way. Everybody that listens to that music is affected by his you know, life and personal decisions, because they will influence the music that he makes, but I just never understood elevating people to that, to that celebrity status, and I don't get, um, why parents aren't more careful about who they let their kids attempt to model themselves, you know, one of my daughters, she, really likes Jojo Siwa. And being 100% blunt, I have no idea who that is. But my wife said that she is a great character in a children's TV show. And good enough for me. My wife signed off on it. I don't have to do the research. However, if tomorrow Jojo Siwa went off the started behaving in a way that was unacceptable, in my opinion, for my daughter to watch. That's kind of the end of that. I want my daughters to grow up to be respectable young women who demand respect from any man who is interested in pursuing any sort of a relationship with them. And I want my son to respect the women around him and to seriously respect any woman that he is interested in pursuing any sort of a relationship with. So... I want my son to treat other women the way I want my daughters to be treated by men. So, it's disheartening to me when culture and music has, and there's more than one genre of music that's guilty of this, unfortunately, has cheapened the opposite sex in both ways. So, and has cheapened intimacy between a man and a woman. I guess that's what I got. I just wish that... And, you know, you might call me old-fashioned or whatever, but... There are some things that work. And I would argue that when you treat someone that you're interested in dating with decency and respect that you will end up a lot further, a lot easier in any sort of relationship you have with them, even if it's a strictly a platonic relationship. I've got female friends that I've known for years. One of my best friends is a woman. Her and I are both married. We both have kids, jobs, spouses, you know, the, the whole thing, and, like, we've talked to each other through, uh, 
ups and downs of different dating relationships and you know the heartbreak that comes after and the drama of life and everything else but we've always respected each other and it's served both of us well because when one of us need when one of us has to and I use the term cautiously but disrespect the other one because they're being stupid which both of us have done the fact that we have a track record of respecting this person and being honest with the person we say hey you're an idiot don't do that we have credibility built up and we have that trust built up whereas if you cheapen the opposite sex when you're trying to save them from headache, heartache, and problems you don't have that credibility of respect to fall back on when you do have to call them an idiot or you know call them out for being stupid about something so that's kind of what I got for today I just wish that everything that was pop culture was more geared toward respecting everybody because if that happened people would res if people emulate what they listen to there would be more people that would respect more people and that would be a good thing in my opinion catch y'all later folks